do you think religion plays a role in happiness? This is also a really interesting question. We did a study for the Nordic Council of Ministers last year where this was one of the things that we analyzed in a regression analysis, um, which is a, a quantitative analysis where we can correlate and we can hold um, and we can correlate different factors. And what we find is that, yes, extremely religious people are happier. But by extremely religious people, I mean people who are very firm believers who go to church or to the mosque or the synagogue or wherever they go very often and practice this religion on a daily basis and very actively. Whereas the majority of people who are moderately religious, we can't see any uh, correlation with happiness in them. Mm. So... Karl Marx, I'm sure you know who Karl Marx is, he says religion is the sigh of the oppressed creature, the heart of the heartless world, and the soul of the soulless conditions. It is the opium of the people. Do you think that's why religion leads to happiness or extremely religious people are more happy? Is it because religion somehow numbs the pain of life or society? <laughs> I think... Um... I think Marx was not particularly, I mean, he was very one-sided. I think he had a point at the time he was writing at, and I think he has a point um, when people become fanatic and start just following the religious mindlessly. But what we find is that religious people, people who are very religious, also have a strong sense of meaning with their life. They also quite often have a strong sense or feeling of community with other people. So we're kind of back to loneliness, but we're also talking about having a meaning with life. And that is important to happiness. 